Hello, welcome to the Thursday, November 19th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Quick tip from Xavier today. He found on Virus Total actually some emails from users that apparently tried to bypass some security controls. A lot of companies make it difficult to attach files to emails, so users try to find alternative ways to transmit files they need to transmit for business. In this particular case, a user did upload it to an own cloud account, which in itself is not bad, but apparently the recipient didn't have access to the own cloud system. And as a result, the sender just sent their credentials along and essentially shared the account. Shared accounts are always bad. I've seen it similarly happen actually in one organization that had a big breach as a result, didn't allow any email attachments, which then of course led to everybody using their personal email address in order to receive email, which now totally went outside any kind of corporate email policy enforcement. And then a couple of updates about browsers. Google released a new version of Chrome fixing 11 vulnerabilities rated as high and a number of other medium and low vulnerabilities. Secondly, we do have an update for Firefox, Firefox 83. And it takes the interesting step to introduce an HTTPS only mode. Now, similar behavior has been available in the past as plugins for your browser, but what essentially does is when you're connecting to a website, it will connect to HTTPS by default, not HTTP. And before redirecting to HTTP, it will pop up a warning and ask for permission. Interesting feature, we'll see if people like it. And Microsoft released an out of band update for Windows 10 and Windows Server fixing a problem with Kerberos authentication. This was not necessarily a security vulnerability per se, but really more an availability issue in that Kerberos would fail. This is an optional update and part of the issue that Microsoft is addressing here is that Ticket renewal and tasks like schedule tasks and clustering might fail. So if you had issues with that and you think Kerberos was to blame, you probably do want to update your Windows system. This should only affect enterprise systems. Microsoft also announced that for the balance of the calendar year, there will be no non-security releases for Windows 10. So uh, the releases you sometimes got the third week of the month, they will not happen in December, but you will still get the normal second Tuesday or second week of the month security patches. And with everybody these days juggling multiple video conferencing solutions at the same time, you probably also are affected by an update to WebEx. Uh, Cisco fixed a vulnerability in WebEx that allowed meeting participants to have full access to audio, video, and chat without having themselves being displayed in the participant list. So uh, these ghost users essentially cannot be seen by other participants and users expelled from a meeting may actually remain within the meeting as one of uh, these uh, ghost users. So definitely want to update uh, WebEx in order to fix uh, this vulnerability. And this affects Cisco WebEx meetings as well as Cisco WebEx meetings server. And apparently a retailer in Chile was hit with the Gregor ransomware that sort of uh, did display some interesting new behavior in essentially printing garbage on all printers that it could find within this retailer, which did include the receipt printers connected to point of sale systems. An interesting video was posted on Twitter showing how fast these printers will spit out paper and essentially just covered with gibberish. 
Well, that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.